Well, hey there, people. Welcome to the first break of my night. Yup a dup, first break. Just chilling out. Oh, my buddy's super duper is here. Nice. I swear, they didn't hydro seed this. All they did was spray paint it green to make us think it was hydro seeded. And this is what hydro seed actually looks like. Literally, fucking dog walked on. <laughs> Somebody walked their dog all on it. <laughs> Freaking arseholes. Oh, whatever. It is what it is. So coming to work today and the guy who didn't show up yesterday, once again, didn't show up today. Fuck's sakes, like, uh, maybe he quit. Maybe he's not coming back. He's one of the guys who's supposed to be staying with the company too. So that's pretty fucked. A lot of us are thinking that uh, he won't be in tomorrow. They're actually taking a pool on it upstairs. I didn't bring any cash with me so I couldn't enter it. Or not a pool, a bet, I should say. But yeah, they're, they're taking the bets that he's not coming in tomorrow because like tomorrow, for instance, is Wednesday. And that's both mine and his Friday. Thursday and Friday we both get it off and then Saturday and Sunday away we go, right? So we're, we're pretty convinced that he's not coming in on uh, on tomorrow either. Which means he just had like a seven day weekend, which I guess is okay for him, but he better get a doctor's note because that's one of the policies here is if you're sick for more than three days in a row or two days in a row or something, you gotta go to doc and get a note. Well, there was this huge community isolation out in Bonfield area. We had no idea about it. I just found out about it tonight and it's getting repaired tomorrow. <coughs> Apparently this has been gone going on now for two weeks I didn't even have a clue had a lady call in she's like yeah I can't get on the internet my phone's been fixed but I can't get on the internet and it turns out the reason why she can't get on the internet is because when the problem happened she figured reset my router and that would solve the problem by resetting the router she cocked everything over so I told her you got to reconfigure your router she's like how do I do that and I'm like I don't know that's not what we do here and then she beaks off at me it was a good time so I was thinking about getting into bow hunting I used to fire a bow back in the day like a long time ago in a galaxy far far away and my co-worker's thinking about buying a crossbow. Holy fuck noise up train, really? My uh, co-worker's thinking about buying a crossbow and selling his comp his compound bow. And it's a lefty and that's what I shoot, so I was thinking about picking it up off of him. Won't be able to go hunting this year, but maybe next year go hunting, eh? That'd be awesome, friggin' drop a deer and have some deer meat for a while. That'd be amazing, I friggin' love deer meat. It's delicious, deer steaks, ground deer for burgers and spaghetti sauce and chili and shit. Fuck, nothing beats it. But it got me thinking because there was uh, a customer who called in last or two weeks ago to get the internet set up in their office because school was starting early. Up in Moosonee what they do is they start school in mid-August because mid-October you get two weeks off for hunting. That's friggin' awesome. Hunting weeks, hunting vacation so the kids can be off school and go and hunt. That's pretty cool. But it's obvious when you're a city slicker like me, why the fuck would you need hunting time off, you're right? It's not something a lot of people do in the cities is go hunting. But pretty sure if we got time off to do it, more people would probably take and par and go out and kill an animal and eat it. Be awesome. I actually got into an argument with a girl on Facebook about hunting. She was all like, why can't freaking hunters just go to the stores and get their meat instead of, you know, killing defenseless animals? And I got into the argument of hunting is more or less less cruel than going to the store and buying beef. If you think about it, all these cows and shit you see in the stores, like all the steaks and chickens and stuff, those guys don't stand a fighting chance. They're stuck behind gates, stuck in buildings, basically bred to be killed and stocked on a shelf. Where a deer in the wild, you know, you could fuck your shot up, that thing's long gone. Of course, you could graze it and not be able to find it, now you got this wounded animal going, but there's laws preventing that. If you injure an animal and you're caught doing so and you don't track it down, you can get hefty fined. All in all, I think hunting is more humane than people just going to the stores and buying beef, like I do, because I, now I have my hunting license, I just don't hunt because I have no one to go with and I don't have time. So go, go grocery stores for me, but you know, if I could, and if I had the time, I'd definitely go out and drop a buck or drop a deer, you know, get it all done up and shit and have all that meat and oh my God, have some friggin' ground deer. Oh man, ground deer and spaghetti sauce, people, is the best friggin' shit in the world. Like maybe I'm nuts for thinking like I do, but it's my brain and it's the way it works. And sometimes I have to deal with it. I also want to point out that this is the first summer in history of my vlogs that I never walked across the street and looked at a truck over at the steering wheel over there. That was a Florida truck that was worth way more than what, or that was being sold for way more than what it was worth. Remember last year, the S10? The year before that, the uh, Sonoma S15? And the year before that was a uh, Ford Ranger, all Florida driven, all no, all quote unquote no rust, all two wheel peel, and all like had base model, like base features, and all the trucks were being sold for like eight grand. First year I didn't see that, so I wonder if he still runs that business. I don't know. So my buddy got a job over at Kia of North Bay, 
and he's been bugging me to go in there and buy a Kia Soul because I mentioned how I like the way they are. But the funny thing is, is the Kia Soul being a four banger is actually worse on fuel than my G6 when it has a proper tune up. Reason being, it's a giant milk crate on wheels. So that and I don't really want to buy a new vehicle right now or any vehicle for that matter because I kind of want to stay under the radar with the insurance companies having three demerit points. I'm still paying the same right now. So until they do a reassessment on my insurance, I'll be okay. But next year when I get to my reassessment done, I'm gonna get fucked hard. So I'm thinking tonight when I get home, I want to stack up all my beer bottles that I have from the uh, from the weekend, get all that organized and ready to bring back. Probably tomorrow before when I come in into work, I'll leave a little earlier, drop off at the beer store and uh, drop off the uh, empties and go from there because uh, I have way too many empties at the house. So we'll get rid of those. I don't know if I'm going to be drinking this weekend, probably not because I'll kind of want to detox off the beer for a bit and uh, go from there. So. That's probably gonna be the plan, so we'll drop those off tomorrow and uh, see what we do. Get rid of that, clean up that for some more. And I still wanna think about running an extension cord from one side of the room to the other side of the room so I can set up my mixing station for juice over by the cabinets that have all my flavors and shit in them so everything's easier, easily accessible. And that frees up the Comedy on Comment desk for more Comedy on Comments. Cause right now I just got everything sitting on the windowsill and it's probably not good there. So that's what we're gonna do, probably tonight. Might even install my power strip on the wall. I don't know, we'll see what we do. But anyway, people, my break's almost over. I'm gonna head her back inside and carry on with this shift. So far, so good. It's not too busy, it's not too slow. We're getting shit did and life's good. So I'll probably talk to you guys at eight o'clock. So until then, peace the freak out. Jeez, it's already eight o'clock and lunchtime and fuck, she's dark out. The street lights are on. Yeah, it's pretty hardcore. I love the lighting right now though. This is like the ultimate lighting for filming, but it's also the bad lighting because the fucking mosquitoes are out hardcore and I just got bit by one and I wanted to punch in the face, but it flew off. Well, it's lunchtime. Lovely jobly. Anyhoozle, I want to just move my car over to the other lot so it's easier to get into tonight when we evacuate. So I'm going to do that now. Well, so far the shift's going by very, very, very fast. So that's a bonus thing. And I'm really happy about that because one more and I got two days off and then I work the weekend and watch. I'm gonna get called in for noon to eight on the weekend because I have a bad feeling the other guy's not coming in. So that sucks. I just won't answer my phone and I'll come in at four to midnight anyway on Saturday and Sunday. Mind you, if I went in on Saturday from noon to eight, uh, my cousins are coming down from Fort Erie uh, to visit. I could at least do Saturday noon to eight and then Sunday four to midnight and then I can go visit for a bit. Before I gotta go home and go see me times. God, that sounds stupid. CP times? What the fuck is CP times? So I was thinking, like, if that happens, you know what? That could work out to my benefit because they're coming up from North Bay and my cousin's kind of pissed off that I can't get time off work. But I told her, you have a job. You know what it's like. You can't just take holidays because somebody's in town. So I was browsing on Kijiji looking for some steel tires. I found a set. Thought I was like, I was like holy shit, 300 bucks for four 16-inch steel uh, rims that came off of a Chevy Impala, which is the same bolt pattern as the G6, with one season old winter tires on it. And I was like, oh, that'd be mint. Then I can take these rims off, uh, just park them in the garage for now, put the 16 steelies on, wouldn't have to inflate the tires every five days. And next uh, season, I could just take those 17s to a tire shop, strip the rubber off of them, and put like summer tires on it. And then just do like dad does every winter and spring, swap back and forth between winters and summers. And that would be friggin' ballin'. That would be amazing. Cause then, you know, I'd have good summer tires. It wouldn't be so noisy on the road or feathered for that matter. And I'd have good winter tires. And I got plenty of room in the garage to store tires. Cause I got that whole back area. Probably gonna get rid of the lawn tractor, but I'm gonna wait till next season. I wanna, I wanna fix it up better and make it run better and then see if I can dump it for around 300 bucks. Or I might keep it, I don't know, we'll see. It all depends on what happens. I'm probably staying in North Bay when I lose this job. I got a lot of opportunities here in town to get another position. I kinda don't wanna move because you know I am situated, I own a house, got a lot of property, got my garage that I like working in, I got my mini bikes, I got the Trans Am, I wanna get that running, I wanna get that on the road next year. I said that last year and I didn't, but I wanna get it on the road next year. I wanna be driving it and having a good time with it. Probably even take her down to Blokes maybe, if it'll make the trip. You know, stuff like that. So if I end up moving down south, well, I'll be liquidating, right? And I'll be selling my house and selling a bunch of shit and getting rid of all this stuff. And I kind of don't want to do that. So, and then it'd be like, oh, well, I got time off. And the parents would be like, oh, let's drive up to North Bay and spend the weekend here. Well, then that means I got to stay at their house or stay in a hotel. And it's like, that costs money and shit. So, yeah, I think I'm better off to stay here and just visit the south every once in a while. You know, that works out better for me instead of moving down there 
because you know people are busy down there like bloke works all the time Rickham's working all the time you can't just like if I'm down there and I'm bored I can't just like pop over at Rickham's and bug him while he's working or go bug bloke while he's working and look at the orb oh I just killed it oh look I'm like ET Idiot. so yeah that's the plan there uh, I want to I want to learn more mechanical shit and I'm gonna practice on this pile of shit you know I'm gonna do my own struts obviously I can't do my own new alignment uh, I gotta save money for that and get those struts and get them in and then uh, so the PS4 might be a little bit on on back order but we got till November 17th for that so that's not a big deal I got other things going on so like I'm not too worried if I don't get a PS4 in time I don't get a PS4 in time the guys play Grand Theft Auto without me whatever maybe I'll just join the master race on PC and start playing on there whatever it takes you know but um, yeah and Dad and I were talking about that wall in the living room, you know, the far wall with the exposed pipes. And uh, we did the math on it. And we're looking at about 150 bucks for all the materials to do what I want to do. And hopefully when we're done doing that, I won't need that entertainment center where the 55-inch TV is sitting on right now because we're going to wall hang that cocksucker. And it's going to be awesome. And then I was also thinking about getting like a low pile carpet for downstairs. And one of these days getting brave enough and ripping up all that fucking shag carpeting off the stairs going upstairs. But I want to still have carpeted stairs because I don't know if any of you guys tried to walk down wood, wooden, wooden painted stairs. It's a death sentence. If you're in socks, man, it takes frig all to slip and just eat shit. And those stairs going up, up to the second level at my house, they are tricky fucking stairs. Because they go up and then they turn, right? And yeah, it takes nothing to screw up a step and just eat it. So... We're going to do carpeting on that, probably going to have to bring in a pro to figure out how to measure it all up and cut it to length and then lay it down and bolt it down or whatever they do, staple it, nail it, whatever it is, probably hot glue it, whatever they do. I don't know what they do, so we'll figure that out. But that's all going to be winter projects, like painting the cupboards, winter project, because I figured it out, like, come this winter, I have no idea what the hell I'm going to make videos about, because I don't really do any snow activities, I don't go sledding, I don't go ice fishing, I don't do anything outside in the winter, I usually like to hibernate and play video games, where... In the summer, I, I like being outside doing yard work and stuff like that. Lately, it's, oh, the weather hasn't been good for yard work. But that's not a big deal. We can figure that out. Maybe on Thursday and Friday it'll be nice and I can go bang out the rest of my yard and get to mowed and all that shit. And then uh, have a good day. A good day. I also kind of want to modify my shoulder strap thing to uh, give me a different angle. You're probably saying, what the hell are you talking about? And I don't blame you for asking that. Basically what I want to do is I want to get a third person mode. Like, you know when you're playing Grand Theft Auto and you see like from behind the guy and all around him while he's walking? I kind of want that angle. And I have an idea on how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to give her a go and try and build something. And if it works, I might mow my lawn with that and it might be a freaking weird looking video. Yeah third person mode could be funny could be stupid only one way to find out i know for a fact i look like an idiot while i'm doing it while i'm using the contraption that's a given it's no different than bolting a gopro to your head or you know uh wearing the shoulder mount and looking like a friggin predator from aliens versus predator with a plasma cannon on board but i think it'd be a pretty cool idea another thing i need to do is get oreos mount on him and have him do some shots too because that'd be kind of funny to see Oreo view. So like if I'm out gardening I might put that on him and have him out there with me and we're doing some work and stuff and he can walk around and we can get different angles. You know, he can be my camera dog maybe. You know, if I can get him to focus long enough he could actually film me but he can't focus long enough. He's nuts. Like you remember back in the day when Oreo was, was Felix's camera dog for uh, Felix Rants? Kind of something like that. Something else I want to do is lay down that weed killer I made. Like I did a test spray of it and that worked out pretty good. So what I really want to do now is bang out the backyard, get rid of as much raspberry bushes as possible and then just consecrate the ground, you know, just consecrate the shit out of it. Uh, I was thinking about um, right beside the house, like when you come out the front door, there's the tap and there's the raspberry bushes growing in the corner. I was going to nail that, take all them out of there again, and then consecrate the ground so that they don't come back. Like, just kill the, the ground so the root system will not recover. And I was going to do that probably on Thursday as well. Like, really lay the friggin' spray to her so that the ground turns into sand, basically, and nothing will grow there. Because I had a plan for something cool there, too. And, uh, yeah. Also talking with Dad about my bathroom at home because eh, it's kind of outdated. By kind, I mean a lot. So what I wanted to do was basically gut the son of a bitch, put in a new floor, rip the tub out of there, and put in a new bathtub, but a proper one with a good surround, because right now the surround that's on there does leak a little bit. So literally I would have to gut all the drywall out of there because I know there's black mold behind that freaking uh, shower cover, the uh, surround. And gut all that, gut everything, gut all the drywall, 
rip the floor out. We're gonna do uh, 5 eighths floor in the bathroom, like plywood, like floorboard, whatever, like we had in the kitchen. And then I was thinking about tiling the whole bathroom, making it look pretty awesome. I wanted to do a walk-in shower, but a lot of people said like, if you go to sell the house and you only have a shower and not a full bath, it'll reduce the, the price of the house. But I'm thinking to myself, who the fuck would move in there and have a baby? Like that's usually when the bathtub's used is with babies, right? Who the hell would own a house that small? Like like a single couple with a baby wouldn't want to live there because like where would they put the baby in the red room? They could make that a nursery, I guess, but it's not exactly the best room. Like it's not ex it the house is perfect for a guy like me. You know, a guy who wants a house where the mortgage isn't as much as rent. Because literally what I pay in mortgage and utilities is about $150 cheaper than what my buddy pays for rent at his uh, one-bedroom apartment with utilities. So I'm doing better and I own the property. And he's paying some slumlord and his toilet's been broken now for two months and the guy just won't come in and fix it. Literally, to flush his toilet, it's such an easy fix too. He just needs to buy the new guts for the toilet. He, well, he doesn't have to. The landlord has to. But the landlord doesn't because he's just freaking keeps making up excuses but all they got to do is buy the guts and install it and the fucking toilet will work because with the flush the toilet now he has to reach inside and basically do everything the handle does so when the handle lifts the, the the plug he literally has to go and lift the plug and then make sure it drops back in the hole so he reaches into the into the back into the back crapper or the back bowl or the back reservoir unplugs it and the toilet should be doing that on its own but it doesn't so he just needs new guts and his landlord's being lazy and you know that's the problem with uh, owning an apartment in north bay is sometimes you get landlords that just completely suck and will try everything not to service but when it comes to rent day and you're late oh my goodness they're fucking banging on your door and he tried that he was late on his rent the one time landlord came around and he's like where's your rent and he's like well, fuck when are you gonna fix my toilet and he's like that's not what i'm here for and he's like well could you be because I need a fucking toilet. So I've been thinking about this two uploads a day stuff. And like a lot of the YouTubers I watch that I really enjoy, like Jelly and his crew, they put up two video game videos a day. Which is great because it gives you more content to watch. And, you know, McJugger Nuggets, he puts up two videos a day. Mind you, he mentioned on a previous video that he was thinking about cutting back to one video a day. Uploading one vlog a day and streaming every night. Which, you know, I guess that constitutes two videos a day. And like a kid behind a camera, for instance, you know, he uploads one video to the Angry Grandpa archives, which is like the older stuff that I haven't seen yet, which is pretty awesome. And then he uploads his vlog every night. You know, and a lot of these guys are doing two videos a day and it's people I like to watch and it gives me more shit to watch throughout the day. And I kind of like that. So I was thinking like I've been doing uh, every once in a while, you guys have been seeing actually a lot more recently, two videos a day. So I was thinking, um, I'd like to do that, but the thing is, is like, I've been numbering the vlogs, vlog, you know, the 1600 and whatever the fuck it is. I've been contemplating on dropping the numbering of the vlogs and not doing a series like that. Instead of that, just start just making custom thumbnails for the videos and just doing videos and stuff. Like, they'd still be vlogs, like, there's no way to get around that, but it wouldn't be a vlog number on it. It would just basically be a video, you know? Like, whatever I'm doing, like if I'm making the weed killer, it'd be like, kill them weeds with salt water, or, you know, whatever it may be. And then I can have uh, a little more freedom. And on days when I want to do two uploads, like right now, this video here is going up on the 13th, and I'm filming it on the 1st. So as you can tell, I got a lot of space to really friggin' give her and not make vlogs and take time off. So I was thinking about doing, like, maybe uploading two videos a day. Upload one at not always nine o'clock in the morning, there will always be a vlog, but at five it could be a commenting on comments, another vlog, it could be a cooking video, it could be anything, you know? And, and start doing two videos a day just to see how that goes and see if it like really wires me out and, and give that a go for a month. And like I really wanna get away from numbering the vlogs. The whole idea before was like I said, when I first started vlogging, the whole reason why I started vlogging was because I was—I got into watching that Shay Carl back when I was hanging around with uh, with Ginger Vlogs. She got me on to watching Shay, uh, Shay Tards, I should say, uh, their vlog channel. And I got really into it and I was like, holy shit. And then one day he drops a video where he was basically talking about how vlogging ain't easy. I guess a bunch of people were ripping on him saying, holy crap, all you do is film your family. And, and and all this crap and like a bunch of people watch you because it's cute and you make a whole bunch of money off of it and you brag about it like you have the easiest job in the world so Shay Carl rebuttaled and said if you think this is an easy job why don't you pick up a camera and do the one year he goes do the one month challenge he goes no you know what no do the one year challenge if you think this is an easy thing I challenge you 
to make one video a day all year. And even though that wasn't directed at me, when I saw that com when he made that comment, all I said was challenge accepted because I wanted to do that. So that's when I announced on my channel, the old Skaven channel, that listen guys, I want to start a new channel because my channel was debunked and it was like, well, I couldn't get AdSense on it and that, that's what pissed me off. And I couldn't join a network either because the channel was banned on AdSense and I wanted to join a network to have the AdSense protected. So. I was like, well, fuck it, uh, we'll start a new channel, and I asked people, hey, anybody got any suggestions? And so I can't remember who it was, but somebody came up with the name Vlogging Life, and I loved it. And then my buddy Mark, he's the one who made the, uh, the Vlogging Life face, and that's how the channel was born. But the whole reason why I started it was because of Shea Carl, and that's the reason why I started numbering them, 1 through 365. And I just kept going, and we're up to what, like 1695 now or some nonsense, 1694? I think this is 1694. And it's gotten to the point where I don't even know why I number them anymore. I just want to call them videos. Like, just just start making videos and get away from the numbering, but still do custom thumbnails and stuff. But I think that's the way I'm going to go. And we're probably going to have two vlogs. Jesus, fucking mosquito. Fuck you, you son of a bitch. Oh, I just mangled you. Bastard. Trying to bite me, so I punched him right in the face. But, um... What time is it right now? Ah, oh, fuck my tits. We gotta go back to work in five minutes. So that's what I'm probably gonna do, people. There's gonna be a little format change. Uh, vlog and life will have two videos a day, maybe two vlogs, one at nine, one at five, maybe a vlog at nine, and something else at five, like a comedy on comments, cooking video, whatever it may be. Uh, could even be, uh, not a tech video, but it could be maybe a rant. Sometimes I get into a rant about things that piss me off, and I like posting those because people friggin' laugh and some people agree, a lot of people disagree, and it starts, you know, conversations in the comments, and that's fine. And I don't mind people commenting in the comments and being against me. I have no problems with you not sharing the same opinion as me. What I think is funny is when you don't share the same opinion as me and you post something like, you're just a big fag because you don't believe in things. And it's like, wow, you went that route, bud? Well, you have the education of an onion. You know, but, like, if somebody can actually rebuttal my rant with a valid excuse and be somewhat educated about it. Hey, I'm all for that, that's awesome. You know, it's great that we all have our own ideas and stuff. You know, I'm not looking to be idolized or anything. Like, I'm just a guy talking to a camera. I have my faults just like you have your faults and people like pointing out my faults and when I find theirs, I point them out too. So fuck it, it's, that's probably the human way. But um, yeah, I was thinking about doing the two videos a day thing because I know a lot of people would enjoy that and would like to see uh, more content and Maybe that's what I'll do. We'll get into two videos a day, especially once I'm laid off. I'll have plenty of more time to make videos. You know, I won't be doing this sleeping in all day because I won't be as depressed from, from having to come to this place. You know, go to bed at a decent hour at night, wake up at a decent hour in the morning, bang out a couple videos, get some uploads going, get some shit going, plan content, like actually plan skits and stuff. Because that's the thing, I got these skits I want to film, but after I leave this place, I'm so fucking blah. All I want to do is go home, do something lightweight, watch some TV and go to bed because this place just drains you. Drains you big times. But anyway, people, my lunch is almost over. I better get back in there because my co-worker said he wanted to friggin' wreck the toilet. So, oh, never mind. He's already in there wrecking the toilet. That's the way she goes, boys. So I guess I'll talk to you guys at midnight when I get out of here, and we'll talk to you then. Peace to forget. All right, guys, well, it's 10.30 break time, and I didn't realize how much footage I had, so I don't think I'm going to carry the vlog on until I go home. I think I'm going to shut her down there, and maybe tonight if I end up finding something interesting to do, I'll pick up the camera and go again. See what I mean? Like, today I'm probably going to make three friggin' vlogs. Could have made one, like, hour-long vlog, but who the fuck wants to sit there for an hour and watch that shit, right? So, it is what it is. Sorry for making the vlog boring as fuck today, though. Like, it was just me sitting in the car talking a bunch of nonsense about things to come, because, like I said, when I'm at work, I really don't get much shit done but uh well i got work done which pays the bills i still want to make videos for you guys because that's fun to do and it helps take away a lot of my stress you know what this looks a lot nicer with all that shit gone and just the trees you know they could put a picnic table out here once you know the grass settles and all the land freaking flattens out and gets a little harder put a picnic table out here and people can come out and have their lunch out here right by the sewer that'd be a good idea probably they probably won't but you know it is what it is especially with the smell of the shit plant right now my goodness that's bad but i'm thinking that's what i'm probably going to do is shut the vlog down here and maybe at midnight if i can think of something i want to do tonight i know i want to set up the gaming headphones and look for my blue extension cord and see if I can run it from the wall 
around and set up the mixing station on the other table, clean up all the beer bottles. I don't know, we'll see if we can bang out another vlog tonight. Maybe it'll be more interesting than this one here. You know, I do apologize, but uh, yeah. Like Shay Carl said, if you think vlogging's easy, pick up a camera and fucking give her. And you'll see when you're working a full-time job plus doing the vlogging, yeah, it's really hard. It's really hard to do a video every day, but I want to step it up more because I'm just stupid like that. Yep. So, I think that's what I'm going to do, people. Frick, it's windy out. I hope you guys can even hear me right now. Figured I'd come for a little walk. Oh, yeah, people were talking about the generator. Wondering where the frig it is. There's the big generator at work. That's what powers this building and that building. Not the pickup truck, but the white building I came out of in the case of a power failure. But it's not exactly like when the power fails, it doesn't kick on right away. There's a, like a good second delay. The battery backup in the basement of our building is supposed to compensate for that. And I say supposed to, but it doesn't because they probably haven't had those cells reconditioned in forever. But anyway, that's another story. Today was just a rambling video and talking about potentially changing things up to the point where mosquitoes to the point where oh, they're everywhere I gotta get back inside I'm gonna get fucking eaten alive but yeah I just want to bring that up about changing it where I might do some days two vlogs and different videos and stuff to give you guys more content to consume and see how that goes and see what you guys think of it and go from there and getting rid of the uh, numbered format so thanks for watching like favorite and comment and until next time people keep on vlogging